It feels a bit strange to be honest. It was a bit weird getting on the plane on um, <laughs> a couple of days ago and, and actually coming over to Australia because it's uh, been 12 months uh, since I was last here. The last time I drove here was in the wet, absolutely teeming rain. The time before that was 2014. So, yeah, I, I didn't didn't think I'd be um, making the trek up the Hume Highway any time again to actually drive a supercar. So it's it's a, it's feeling a little bit weird. Yeah, it's been good fun. Um, good to get back in a car. It's obviously been a few years. It's nice to actually um, turn a pit limiter off, get out there and do some laps. So today we're just focusing on um, mileage and getting getting a bit of the dust off and um, getting a bit of muscle memory back. So um, yeah, it's good fun. Well, luckily when I when I went out pit lane for the first time, uh, Richie had already warmed the tyres up, so I didn't have to even uh, put any temperature in them. So it was a nice feeling just to be able to get your foot put your foot down and not. Um, not have to wait for some tyre team, but hey, listen here. It's, I mean, Winton's Winton. I've done thousands of laps, but trying to f extract um, the the best out of a, a modern supercar is a little bit different to what I remember. Getting closest to the limit is one thing, but you know, you're racing, you know, 25 of, of the best guys that are in them every two weeks. So you know, when we're at Bathurst, it'll just be a matter of um, chipping away and just trying to trying to find that last bit. Yeah, I mean, he he had. Um, basically left the sport behind at the end of 2019 and the last couple of years for him and, and his car racing career in supercars were, were not enjoyable. He walked away from it and, and uh, he's now rejuvenated and the best that's the best thing that could happen to him was that he actually stepped away from the game for a bit and, and just did different things and, and didn't think about going racing and you know seeing him uh, today turn up and be just straight in the groove uh, being a proper race car driver again and actually being enthusiastic and happy to be driving a car is, it's been awesome to watch that and, and you know if, if nothing else happens up at the end of this year you know I think it would be a, a, a great way for him to sign off from from you know a professional career but I sort of feel that there's going to be more to his story than than, than just um, you know the Ripco Bathurst 1000 this year. You know I'm looking forward to working with, with Greg and um, yeah it's just it's awesome for me to share a car with him and you know have car 51 so um, it's pretty special for me so I'm really enjoying it. Uh, it's cool to come and step back into another operation you know Barry Ryan and I go back you know was it 20 years or more more than 20 years uh, as far as our relationship in, in, in motorsport so um, you know we we know each other pretty well and I know how he works and operates and and um, I think we're pretty keen to, to work together again. He's, he's engineered me. We've, we've you know, been a, a pairing of driver-engineer you know, before as well, and um, you know, I, I enjoy his style.